existed a legendary mask of infamy, full of pure evil, and the very reincarnation of wrath. There is a prophecy. It says that this mask will find someone to possess. Someone that is desiring and wanting to make a difference, but seems to be he loves away. After the one who has been chosen finds the mask after eliminating a foolish man desired for his own greed, the chosen will create panic across the land. And in the passing of three days, the moon will crash and cause Armageddon. But then, a hero of many faces will come and change the three days one million times and stop the moon from falling with a solemn oath. He ordered the chosen to reveal his true face, no matter how fierce, so that the true battle of Diades would truly begin. What is up, Square? And I bring you my fifth Let's Play. This is the game that you guys voted for for me to play from the White Tigers and Dragons. Actually, everybody was able to vote. And this is what you guys came up with. A lot of people wanted me to play games like Mario Sunshine, continuing from Mario 64. Uh, people wanted me to play Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke Randomizer. That would have been really cool as well. And um, a lot of people wanted me to play Final Fantasy IV and Earthbound and Metal Gear Solid, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Galaxy. But yeah, this game has been chosen, and um, it's from a guy that commented on the video that i never seen before, but I remember his name. It's John Smith, and he put on a comment saying it would be cool to play Majora's Mask. He put that in the uh, Rock the Vote video, I suppose. And from that comment, when other people saw that, when they first subscribed from me, or to me, they saw that comment and they said, I want to do Majora's Mask as well. And that gamed up from, like, multiple people, saying that they wanted to see me play Majora's Mask. So this game has been picked. And I am pumped, because this game I'm really good at, and this is such a masterpiece of a game. Going to top this thing. And here it is. Let's play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Let's do this. So, what the heck? Okay, my name is not Ben. Okay. This is not a good beginning, <laughs> really. Alright, yeah, okay, so that's deleted. So, so let's go start our file. And everybody knows that the protagonist's name is Link. Not Zelda, just like how Samus gets mistaken for Metroid. I don't know, I got that easy mistake. Uh, when I was a kid and you know whenever I saw Metroid I thought that the person's name was Metroid so I, I could I know people would mix up Zelda and Link but yeah his name is Link I'll put it in lowercase because everybody else name is in lowercase let's just do this file one start In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. 
Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took place among the legends. So Link is looking for a friend. Look how defeated he looks. Don't worry, Link. You need to boost your confidence levels up. You'll find your friend eventually. Oh, look, fairies. <laughs> That's a unique fairy. I've never seen a purple fairy before. Yeah, I always notice that how defeated Link looks. Cheer up, buddy. You'll find her. This forest is very foggy and vast. It's almost creepy. <sighs> I'll find that person eventually. <laughs> Whoa, man. <laughs> he just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> he did fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Waddle, 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 waddle. Yeah, I could smell him from here. Jeez. Smells like... I don't know, but this, oh my god, it's worse than I thought. Ugh. Uh, let's just look over here and. Ooh. Ooh, what a prick, Ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can, Dan. What will we do if we dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Aw, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Oh, did I just get my bucket by a fairy? Wait, what are you doing with my ocarina, man? That's not cool. Uh, uh, this thing? No, I got it from Mima. It's, it's not yours, I promise. Give me back! No, get off my horse! Get back here! Ah! Dang, that... Dragging by a horse, man, that gotta hurt. Like, really. This really hurts my sides. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that, re that really got to hurt though, being dragged by a horse. Like, it's like, almost, well then again, you are getting dragged on the grass. But still, it still would hurt, because imagine if you get dragged by a car or something, even if it's like driving over a lawn. I don't know what I'm talking about, but let's get over to the controls here, because now we are able to play as Link, as soon as he stands up. And, uh, yeah. He pretty much took our horse... So yeah, pressing B is the sword button pretty much throughout, you know, this thing that that was awkwardly put. But as you notice, there's the blue button that says, uh, you know, attack sometimes and when you're going by the grass it says grab. Pretty much what it is is that this is the action button. It tells you to do a lot of things like from push to pull to grab to climb to throw etc 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 so I'm um, going over here though you could hold Z and you could like side go to the side left or right and uh, by going back you could walk backwards pressing A you could uh, do a backflip and I didn't even mention this but if you go forward and it says attack you could roll but by holding Z and pressing A you will do a jump attack that's the only non B sword technique that you could do with that as far as I know so yeah pressing R will get you your shield and uh, pressing L on the GameCube because you could also play this on the GameCube and such like that and I uh, you know for the collectors it, the I, I believe the red button would be B and the A button would be green so yeah most of the games you would notice that pressing A you would jump but Link can't jump. He's incapable of jumping. I mean, he self-auto jumps like you'll see right here. All I have to do is just go straight. But it's really cool. Look how he flips. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I wish I could flip like that, man. I mean, I could flip, but I can't land it, so... 
No! Shrooms. Oh. oh, the light burns. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word said to it. There's no point in writing anything like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> you did what? You did not just get rid of my horse, man. That's not cool. Oh, boohoo, why the sad face? I just thought I had a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you could beat me as I am now? Fool! What's going on? What the heck? My face? What? No! What did you do to me? <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. <laughs> no, get back here! Did the fairy just kick my butt? Hey, look, no, that, that's not how you hit me, and I was going after him. Uh, no, that's not how it happened. Well, don't you sit there, Deku boy. Do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What is there, something stuck in my face? Will you stop staring and just open the door for me? Please, come on, I hope this little girl's asking you, so hurry up. You're a okay. <laughs> I look like freaking Shrek! Anyway, so now I have to re explain the controls because this will just so happen. I don't have a sword anymore, so the B button I cannot use for anything just yet. But uh, the action button still applies, except the difference instead of rolling when you attack, like it says right here, you would spin. So, uh, yeah. I want to point out something. Like, if you notice that there's like three triangles in the beginning here, it, you could kind of barely see it because you're not in a good angle. But behind uh, the Skull Kid, while I was turned into the Deku scrub, you could see the two. Not the two, the three triangles, and I thought that was really interesting. You can see all these shapes on the ground, but if you look up, you can see a better, like, all these shapes. Almost circus-like. It's very, very eerie. So, um, yeah, so, you could go forward and go try to get all this grass and stuff. I already got 22, 24. 20, oh my gosh, I got so many rupees. Usually, I don't even get past 10. So, uh, let's just open the door for this fairy... Even though she attacked me, where is she? Why do you attack me, man? That was that wasn't cool. But yeah, all these plants, all these decorations, it's really cool. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind. So um, that's stuff right there. I um apologize. So so take me with you. You wanna know about that skulker who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Do you? No. Please? Yeah, so then it's settled. Hey, I didn't even say yes or no, man. Well, I did say no.
but that was a no. You, you can't just say, oh good, okay, let me settle. No, 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 that's not how it works. Then I'll be your partner, at least until we catch that school kid. My name's Tattle, so uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we got all that strain up, can we just stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, I'll tell it to you. Hopefully uh, you'll manage to get by without my help until then. Oh my gosh. That's, uh, I can't, what, come on. Okay, so, if you'll notice by the yellow icons that I have not explained yet, the yellow icons itself, you're supposed to put, whenever you get items, you can select them where you want them uh, to press that button to use them, pretty much. And uh, where it says Tattle, you can press yellow up, and she will explain what she has to say. So, yeah. She I can see you never used your deck of scrub body yet. Alright, listen up. So yeah, she's explaining how the Deku Flower works and what Deku Scrub could do and not do. And no, this is a trick question, trying to re-explain yourself like, Hey, Bora, gay Bora, what is wrong with you? Are you sure? So yeah. <clears throat> so, basically what she was trying to say, if you hold A and see, until you see that poof, you are able to descend up in the sky. And the way it works is you could uh, go into the sky and hover for a moment of time, it, it it will run out, and as soon as you start stuttering, you'll notice that you're gonna st about to fall, pretty much. <laughs> and um, that's the gimmick of the Deku Scrub. And let's go do this thing. All right, so I see a treasure chest up there. I'm gonna go get it, man. All right, so here we go. And uh, opening this chest, we got ourselves a Deku Nut. So basically, a Deku Nut upon impact, it makes a blinding flash, freezing enemies in their tracks. So <laughs> something I didn't even pointed out, but I did mention, is my rupees. This is the currency of this place, of this game, I should say. And the three hearts is my health. Uh, and uh, as you'll notice, now we could drop it as Deku bombs these things. So by pressing B. By going to the menu and putting it to whatever, like let's say yellow left, we could use it in the yellow left slot. But you don't, obviously you can't use it in a Deku Flyer, but only in the B, in the B, in the B slot. So, here you go. Like that. Bam. Bam. Alright, so, uh, where the heck? Okay, it's, I think it's over there it's supposed to go. So yeah, now it's going to be on the B slot and the yellow one will be available. But either way, you could use it as Deku Bombs. So... Yeah. Hey, talk to me. There you go. See, you can do it if you try. When, uh, when I fly over to people, you can talk to them. <laughs> so yeah, she's explained the Z controls pretty much. But enough about that for now. Come over to this tree and check it out. So yeah, if you hold Z, it's straight and uh paddles like flying over there you could target them and you could almost check or talk to that thing or person so let's go over here and uh look at that thing almost look like me it's strange but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree looks all dark and gloomy almost like it could start crying any second now how sad huh <laughs> I, I heard something just now Uh, hello? Anybody here? I could swear I heard a laugh. Twisted. All right, so let's go over here and something else that uh, is really hard to point out in the beginning of the game Well, not so but Deku scrub when it comes to water you would think that oh, yeah You would swim and, and there would be a water meter or whatever like that But the Deku scrub doesn't swim at all He skips on the water and you'll see that there's numbers on here And if you were to go to zero when you're still in the water You wouldn't take health it would just start you over from where you jumped off So that's good and if you press a before you descend you'll go a lot farther so that's very helpful I recommend that strongly and um, yeah 
Hello? Look at this. What's that? Oh, okay, that's just the... I thought that I was hearing things again, man. I don't know. There's just so many things going on. Alright, I finally see a door. You met with a terrible fate, haven't you? I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at loss. And now I found you. Now don't think of me rude, but I have been following you. It was you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can go back to the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should by no means be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here's up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you. So yeah, this guy's been following me. That's not creepy or stalkerish at all. So yeah, if you go look in his site, you'll see that there's like a mask of Elvis, Darth Maul, and whatever this is. I know there's probably like... uh, He kind of looked like... Mike Myers, the Halloween Mike Myers, not, you know, Austin Powers Mike Myers. So, uh, if you look in the back, if I could get a good angle on him, you could... Thank you, Tattle, that was really helpful, actually. You could kind of see Mario back there. Since I'm a Deku scrub, I can't really see very well. But this is a good angle. Thank you, Tattle, for the light. I really like you. I actually do like Tattle a lot. She has a great personality, and I like her. Like, a lot better than the Elfie man. So, yeah. Um, looking on the side, uh, this mask on the bottom almost looks like Falco, and I don't know about these other masks, they kind of are like tribal masks of some sort, but yeah, I just wanted to say, for this Let's Play, uh, okay, this is gonna sound random, but I want to start off by saying this, so people won't have it mixed around, but the way I've been raised up as a kid to an adult, I always thought, like, whenever somebody passes away, or anything like that, to not feel mourn for those people, but feel, like, happy with what they've given us, and celebrate f from that. So, again, that might sound random, but the reason I say this is because I want to dedicate this Let's Play to a guy that has been there for my childhood, and that is Robin Williams also might sound random as well but the reason I'm saying that is because just in case you don't know Robin Williams is actually a very OG gamer like very old school played the very first Legend of Zelda awesome gamer and he also called his daughter Zelda and I just feel like since he passed away last year and uh, Majora's Mask was selected I felt like the need to dedicate this let's play to him so again let's not mourn him on his death but we'll celebrate what has he given us because he given us a lot of joy he's very heartwarming and this is who I want to dedicate my let's play to and this let's play just like the last let's play what I said I'm gonna try to give it all I got I'm gonna try to make it my the, the best Majora's Mask let's play if I can if I can muster I'm gonna try it <laughs> as much as I could relish. I'm going to try my best, and I will give it my all. That being said, let's go through this door. <laughs> 